New at 5, a local man facing federal charges in connection with an elderly scam. Prosecutors tell the suspect built a widower out of everything he had. Eyewitness News reporter Nika Nuosu has the story from Dartmouth with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. Well, I'm standing in front of the home where Sousa lived with his girlfriend, and many neighbors tell me that there have been rumors spreading about Sousa's illegal activity for years, and they say it was just a matter of time before he was caught. 45-year-old Richard Souza of Dartmouth was charged in federal court Friday, accused of cheating an elderly man out of hundreds of thousands of dollars. The criminal complaint obtained by Eyewitness News alleges that from 2004 to 2008, Souza convinced the elderly widower with poor mental health to give him money and other assets. Souza allegedly promised the man he would invest the money into real estate, but authorities say that's not what happened. According to the affidavit, the elderly man, referred to as Larry, purchased and refinanced a large piece of land in Maine. The money went to Souza. The elderly man also sold his house again. The document says the profit went to Souza, who allegedly used the money to purchase luxury vehicles. The affidavit goes on to say that the widower's net worth was $750,000 when he met Souza. Four years later, his net worth was negative $145,000, which included approximately $52,600 in credit card debt. There was no answer today at the home where Sousa lives with his girlfriend. Neighbors on Seaward Lane say they heard rumors of Sousa's criminal activity in the past. They tell us these Mercedes in the back of Sousa's home are the ones he may now have to forfeit. He also may have to forfeit commercial property and the property in Maine, all believed to have been purchased with the widower's money. And if convicted, Sousa faces five years in prison. With the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Neka Nuosu, Eyewitness News.